teaching to your guys' attention today. Very short teaching. Very short. It's about corrupted flesh. The name of the teaching is Corrupted Flesh. And we're going to get right into it. We're going to go into the ancient book of Jubilees today. The ancient book of Jasher. And most importantly, the Holy Bible. So, let's start off with the Holy Bible. First, we're going to go to Matthew 24 and 37. That's St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 37. And it reads, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day Noah entered into the ark, and they knew not until the flood came and took them away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So here we see Hamashiach saying that his return will be as in the days of Noah. Now we can get pretty much deep into that to, to understand the days of Noah. When it says they were eating and drinking. They were marrying and giving into marriage. There's nothing wrong with eating and drinking. There's nothing wrong with marrying and being given into marriage. But when you do it unlawfully, these are the things that's wrong with it. As we can see the contrast of today. Everyone is eating and drinking. Strong drink against what the Bible says. Everyone is eating against what the scripture says. So that can be equated to the days of Noah. Everyone is marrying and giving into marriage. You have homosexuals who have all kinds of rights to be married and to be given into marriage. Which goes against the Bible 100%. So as we see all flesh is starting to corrupt itself once again with the type of foods they're eating. And with the type of sins that they're doing against each other, dishonoring their body with mankind. So let's keep going. Because we know that in the days of Noah, the flood came. And we're going to see why the Most High flooded the earth. We're going to go to Genesis chapter 6. Genesis chapter 6. It's going to give some understanding a little more into detail why the Most High Ahaya flooded the earth. It was definitely a reason why he flooded the earth. And we're going to get that understanding right now. We're going to start from verse 1. Genesis 6 verse 1. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them Verse 2, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men and that they were fair and they took them wives all which they chose. Now some people would like to say that the sons of God right there are the sons of Seth. But that's erroneous because when you look at that in the original Hebrew text, it says, Bene e ha Elohim. Benohi Ahelohim, which means sons of God. Okay, man was never equated to be Elohim, which we know that the angels of heaven are equated to be Elohim. And we're going to precept that in the book of Jubilees, chapter 5, verse 2 and verse 3, to show you that that is. The, that word, the sons of God, that particular passage or phrase, does mean the, 
the angels of heaven, okay? She believes five. Chapter verses two and verse three. And it says, And it came to pass when the children of men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and the daughters were born unto them, that the angels of God saw them on a certain year of this Jubilees, and that they were beautiful to look upon, and they took themselves wives of all whom they chose, and they bare sons, and they were giants. Now, that reads the same way as Genesis 6. Jubilees 5 reads the same way as Genesis 6. But instead of saying the sons of God, it says the angels of God, which gives you clarity that indeed these were the angels of God who came down, slept with the women, and bore giants. Nephilim, Nephalim, bore giants which was another form of corrupted flesh. Now we're going to keep moving. We're going to jump down to verse 12. We're going to jump down to verse 12 and we're going to see why the Most High looked down upon the earth and he was wroth and why did he destroy all mankind. Genesis 6 and 12 And the Most High looked upon the earth and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And the Most High said to Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Now, the Most High told Noah he was going to destroy the earth and everything on the earth. And why did he say he was going to destroy the earth and everything on the earth? Because all flesh had corrupted itself. All flesh had been made corrupted. And we're going to get some more understanding on how the flesh was being made corrupted. Because as we can see, the angels of heaven came down into the daughters of men. And that wasn't the end of it. Because they actually started crossbreeding their DNA with the DNA of animals and sinning against the animals and creating hybrid animals which were the dinosaurs or what you may call them, flesh-eating dinosaurs and things of that such. Now, let's read Genesis 6 and 7. And the Most High said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and creepy things and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. Now, why did the Most High destroy everything except for those animals that made it into the flood with Noah? I mean, excuse me, made it into the ark with Noah before the flood. Those animals survived because those were the animals that the Most High created. And the other animals, such as the dinosaurs and the Nephilim, were created by the fallen angels. They used their DNA to splice their DNA with the fallen angels. Okay? Fallen angels used their DNA to splice with the creation of the Most High and created hybrid beings. Now we're going to go to the book of Jubilees again. And we're going to go to chapter 7, verse 21 through 25. Chapter 7, verse 21 through 25. Book of Jubilees, chapter 7, verse 21. For owing these three things came to flood upon the earth, namely, Owing to the fornication wherein the watchers against the law of the ordinance went a whoring after the daughters of men and took themselves wives of all which they chose and they made the beginning of uncleanness and they begat sons of the Nephadim or Nephilim and they were all unalike and they devoured one another. And the giants slew the Nephil. 
and an affair slew the ejo. Mankind and the ejo of mankind, and one and another, and every one sold himself to work iniquity and to shed much blood, and the earth was filled with iniquity. And after this, they sinned against the beasts and the birds and all that moved and walked upon the earth. And much blood was shed on the earth in every imagination and desire of man imagine, imagine vanity and evil continually. So here we see in the book of Jubilees that after they begot giants from the Nephthalim and the El Jo and the Nephthalim, after that we can see that they turned around and they devoured mankind and they sinned against mankind. And when they sinned against mankind, what did they do? They took their DNA and made hybrid beings, okay? So as in the days of Noah, so shall be the coming of the Son of Man. So just like all flesh was corrupted in the days of Noah, in the days of the Son of Man, all flesh will be corrupted again. For we see right now, you can look at any circular information and you can see that they're starting to once again cross DNA which is totally against the scriptures. They're crossing DNA and they're mingling. They're mingling DNA which goes against the scriptures because in the scriptures it tells you that mingling of flesh is forbidden. Let's get that. Leviticus 19 and 19. Right? There is a law against mingling different types of animals and different DNA. There is a law against that. And why is the world doing it? Because the world is in total contrast to the Most High in His law. Okay, here we go. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 19. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not lay thy cattle gender with the diverse kind. You see that? Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seeds. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. So, the Most High wants everything to be pure. Down to the clothes that you wear. So, it is a law to what? Not mix your cattle with diverse kind. No cross mingling of DNA and species. So why is the world doing that? Because like I stated earlier, they're in total contrast to the Most High. Total rebellion. They serve Satan. They serve Satan. Let's just be out front with it. They serve Satan. They love Satan. They love to do what they want to do. They hate the rules of the Most High. They hate the law of the Most High. Okay? And so they do this in rebellion to the Most High. Now we're going to go into the ancient book of Jasher. Now if you don't know about the ancient book of Jasher. And you don't know that this is in the Bible. The references is Joshua 10 and 13. Which tells you about the book of Jasher. 2 Samuel 1 and 18. And 2 Timothy 3 and 8. It references the book of Jasher. So we're going to go into the book of Jasher. And we're going to go to Jasher chapter 4 and verse 18. Once again, that's the book of Jasher. Book of Jasher chapter 4 verse 18. And it says, and their judges. Well, let me start from verse 17. And every man made unto himself a god, and they robbed and plundered every man his neighbor, as well as his relative, and they corrupted the earth, and the earth was filled with violence. And their judges and the rulers, as we know the judges and the rulers from the book of Jubilees are the angels, and the book of Enoch, we know that the angels descended on Mount Hurrah, Herman, excuse me, and came into the daughters of men. And their judges and rulers went to the daughters of men and took their wives by force from their husbands according to their choice 
and the sons of men in those days took from the cattle of the earth and the beasts of the field and the fowls of the air and talked mixture of animals of one species with the other in order therewith to provoke the Most High. And the Most High saw the whole earth and it was corrupt for all flesh had corrupted its way upon the earth and all men and animals. So, as we can see right there, once again, all flesh was corrupted because the fallen angels taught mankind how to spice animals and teach mixture of cattle and DNA. Contrast to that, we see that the fallen angels went into the daughters of men and created a hybrid being which had nothing to do with the Most High and corrupted human flesh. So, as we can see that in the days of Noah, before the flood, the whole earth was corrupted in its ways with violence, homosexuality, vanity, murder, robbery, all kinds of violence and iniquity they did on the earth before the flood. The Most High looked down and saw that what all earth, excuse me, all flesh was corrupted. So, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. We can see all flesh is being corrupted. We can see women loving women, men loving men, having sex with each other, corrupting their flesh, doing that thing which is not convenient, going against that which is of nature. Okay? We can see that happening. More rampant and more rampant. More and more on the earth. We can see the mixture of animals and DNA, splicing of DNA. And we can see that robbery and murder and thievery is coming at an all-time highest. So, that's what I wanted to bring out today. The fact that we're close to the end and all flesh once again is starting to corrupt itself. So I want to say all praises to Ahaya, Bahashim Yeshaya, Hakadash Rawak, his father in the name of the Messiah, and the Holy Spirit. Kal Hawad Wa Halala, La Ahaya Asha Ahaya Bahashim Yeshaya, Rawawak. Shalom, Akiyams and Akwakiyams, that's brothers and sisters. Shalom. Bye.